All right, check this out. Secret police societies, corruption and fear, face down and fought with courage and integrity. It sounds like something out of a modern police novel, but for our next guest, it's all true to life, his life. It's all documented in Justin Hobson's book, Breaking the Blue Wall. Justin is a retired New Jersey state trooper and licensed private investigator, lives right here in Mount Pleasant. Now he looked down the barrel of some tough situations, but you may be surprised to learn that the biggest challenge he faced was with his own police department. Welcome, Justin, how are you, sir? Good, Tom, it's great to be here. Now, reading a part of when you started at the New Jersey state, as a New Jersey state trooper, um, you had to be a good old boy in the Lords of Discipline group right away or they were just going to be slamming you. Well, Tom, my ordeal really started on the 11th day of the job as a rookie New Jersey State Trooper. With only a week and a half on the job, I witnessed my training officer unlawfully arrest a woman for drunk driving. The problem with the arrest, Tom, was she wasn't behind the wheel. In fact, she was in the back seat of the vehicle. But your, your police officer friend arrested her as the driver, as a DUI driver. Tom, he was my training officer. Wow. So he was really my mentor, um, providing me a foundation from which to build my career. Talk about a training day, huh? Interesting, yeah. interesting. Yeah. But um, subsequent to the arrest, thankfully, it was captured on camera. And... Uh, I refused to go along with the unlawful arrest. In fact, I confronted my training officer and I, uh, I told him what you did was wrong mm -hmm. and uh, I will not support the arrest. Mm -hmm. I refused to testify in court in support of the arrest. At that point, I was labeled a stool pigeon. So-called black ball. A whistleblower. So yeah, yeah, big time. And um, once the state police deemed me a whistleblower, I was... Uh, physically assaulted, I was harassed, my car was vandalized, uh, hate notes were left on my locker, Tom, mm -hmm. and it was all because they believed I wasn't a team player, mm -hmm. and the people that were harassing me, going back to what you said, yeah. were a secret society of rogue state troopers calling themselves the Lords of Discipline. So they felt that they were actually above the law, this, this organization within the New Jersey State Patrol Group. It was an abuse of power. Yeah. It was abuse yeah. of what power. What was the worst abuse that you can talk about that you ever saw? Well, just being physically assaulted. Okay. Um, you know, going into the, the state police station, these are the same uh, people that I rely on for backup, uh, yet uh, they were ostracizing me and coming after me, so to speak. Mm -hmm. My dream job became my worst nightmare. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, so you, you, you spent five years in, you're now retired from there. You're now an, a, a private investigator right here in the Mount Pleasant area. And you and I were talking off camera. By the way, this, this is his new book that's out. Uh, Raphael, if we get a close-up shot of this. This is a, a very cool book, uh, a great read. Uh, it discloses a lot that happened during your five years uh, there at the New Jersey State, as a New Jersey State Trooper. That's correct. The, yeah. the, the Breaking the Blue Wall, uh, the book that I wrote, articulates everything in detail that I went through. Um, it also talks about uh, me blowing the whistle became the largest internal investigation in state police history and eventually became a, a high profile federal case. And uh, this book has given me a platform to talk about it. Mm -hmm. And you, your, your life has been threatened a number of times as well from uh, some people that you may know and some people that you don't know. And that may have been one of the reasons why you moved down into the, the low country here. I moved strictly uh, to get away from yeah. what I was in. And, mm -hmm. you know, God uh, really brought me to this area and uh, I started a new chapter <laughs> in my life, yeah. so to speak. And one huge thing that I learned in this ordeal, Tom, was the power of prayer. Yeah. And uh, when I prayed, uh, it gave me a light at the end of the tunnel mm -hmm. to make it through. Mm -hmm. So my faith is the only reason I'm here sitting with yeah. you today. We, we got to wrap it up. You're a private investigator here in the Mount Pleasant area. Yes, sir. Before we go, we talked earlier. 
You're a very busy man, unfortunately, here in Mount Pleasant. <laughs> There's a lot, evidently, that goes on. Check out his book once again, Breaking the Blue Wall. We've got more coming up right after the break, so stay with us.